Good afternoon, eSports fans. This is John Cannon. I am here with this week's eSports.us Player of the Week, Adam Wally. Adam had an incredible game and a <laughs> thriller, to say the least, win over La Jolla Waters Lincoln. Adam, first off, congratulations, man. Before we delve into your play, how crazy was that finish against Waters Lincoln on Friday? Oh, man, it was crazy. It was intense. Like, we were all just screaming out, like, to stop him. Um, and then, well, Eli and Cardinals, they made the play. So we were all just, like, really pissed. When you knew that they were going to go for two, they called timeout a couple times. What What did they tell you on the sidelines? What, what, was, what, was, the, what, was, the, what was their message to you guys? Oh, just to believe in ourselves. And we believe good things good thing will happen. When you realized that the ball was stripped, and it was crazy. At first they called it good. Then, of course, they talked about it and it went good. What was going through your mind when you realized that you guys won the game? Oh, uh, that we won? Yes. Oh, I was happy. At first, I, I thought we lost. I was like, eesh. Oh, we, we went some, we lose some. But then, the rest started talking, and I'm just like, oh, I think we won. So. You know, coming to this game, a lot of people were hyping the running backs, and they were hyping the quarterback over there. You know, it seemed like they were talking more about their offense and really giving your defense the respect they deserve. How much fuel did that add to you guys coming into this game to go out and prove that, hey, you need to show us some respect? Yeah, Coach is also telling us that we have, we have to bring other teams back, so that's what motivates us to work as a team and just go all out with the other teams to show the, the community that Thunder defense is here. Talk about your game in general, man. I mean, you had, what, what, I don't know, about 14 tackles. You were all over the field. I know I myself called your name out I don't know how many times. What was it about that game? Was it was it just being at home? Was it the fact you guys want to get revenge over the Bella game, or, or that you finally got back on the field after a bye week? Um, I was just really excited because bye week. I hate bye week. We don't have a game, so I was just like eager to play. And well, I don't know. It's just instinct to play. After the Bella game, and you guys realized how it kind of slipped out of your hands. What was it like over the two weeks coming back? I mean, what did you guys work on? What are some things you focused on? Because it was like night and day from that game to this one. Oh, we were pissed. We were just working our asses off, just trying to, just trying to improve like the little techniques that we need to do, and just think, think uh, of the next game. And we were just thinking about uh, giving it out on Wallace. There you so. go. Ed Katz has had so much tradition at the linebacker position. You know, there's been all state linebackers. I mean. A lot of your coaches were all state linebackers. So, what does it mean to you to be a linebacker for the Ed Couch LC Yellow Jackets? Oh, it means a lot. I just, I just want to uh, go up to the expectations of the coaches and just to keep the linebacker tradition going. What is your goal when this season is over? Do you want to continue the tradition of all state? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. What about what about personal goals? What what numbers? You know, the coach may get mad for me saying this, but what numbers do you want to achieve yourself? What is it that you want to do? Um, I want to, first of all, I want to get all state linebacker, um, both district and state. And, well, I want to suppress the, the amount of tackles that our previous linebacker got. Which was? Joel. How many did he have last year? About 190 some. So you want to pass that up. Yeah. Where are you right now? I am at 28. Okay. District play starts this week. You uh, you open up with Donna North. It's a short week. I know some guys were banged up, but how do y'all feel coming into this game? Uh, Donna North, I don't know about them. It's just just a game, just a goodbye, and they're not really a threat to us. So I'm not really. That's about it. That's One thing about it, they got a pretty good little run game. They've got Tony Gomez, and now they got that kid Juan out of meal. So they have the ability to run, and of course with Coach Rock, he does a great job with the offensive line. So is your game plan, basically, we got to stop the run? Yeah, so they're going to make me probably this a lot again, just so I can get them before the, um, the line of scrimmage. Okay. How many tackles do you plan on getting in this game? About 20. Wow, okay. Would you like to play college football? Is that something that... Uh, you would like to pursue? Yeah. Where? Baylor. Baylor. Okay. Why Baylor? 
I don't know, Baylor is just an amazing school. Their athletic program is good, their science program is up the charts. And I don't know, that's always been my the school I wanted to go to. Okay. Now, have you had any inquiries from any schools yet? Have you had any talks with schools, or have you spoken to anyone yet, or has coach told you about anyone showing interest? Um, well, my coach, she wants me to start doing that, but, like, ASAP, so I still haven't done any of that. Okay. One thing he said is you're really book smart. He said you're, you're one of those book smart guys, so uh, do you think the academic side will help you as well uh, with trying to get a scholarship somewhere? Uh, academically, I'm pretty good, so I would say I have a really good shot at that because my GPA is like up there okay. and everything. If you could compare your style to anybody in the, in the NFL, any linebacker in the NFL, who would it be and why? Mm, I don't know. Just I don't really watch football. You don't? No. Okay, who's your favorite football player? Uh, I would say Rodgers. Okay, so would you say you maybe compare yourself to him? Uh, Maybe without the flash <laughs> and all that that he does, but yeah. Would you say that because you know he was a hard, he was a heavy hitter, he yeah. hit hard. So would you kind of say maybe your game, not his style, not when he runs out of the tunnel. I don't think you do all that stuff, but the way he plays, do you try to emulate it? Uh, I'm not really much of a heavy hitter. I just try to get the job done, I'm trying to get like last yards, pass protection. I'm not like, I don't know, so. Okay, I'm gonna call you out right now, man. You gotta give me a score on Thursday's game between Ed Cass and Don North. You're the predictor, man. I'm not predicting today, I'm gonna let you do it. You're the player of the week, so you get the honor. What's the score gonna be? 42 to 6. What? 42 to 6. 42 to 6. What'll it be at halftime? Halftime? Probably 18 6. Okay. You heard it right there, folks. Adam Wally just he just called it. 42 to 6 is going to be the final. So, Adam, once again, congratulations, man. Thank you. Great job. Uh, we're going to be calling that game. I know we're going to be live, so we'll definitely be there. And uh, you said 20 tackles, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep track. You got to get them. Yes, sir. All right, man. Congratulations. Thank you.